Me llamo Ingrid Rocío, soy una libotutora y represento a la Biblioteca Central Estatal Gilberto Owen, número de colección 605 de Culiacán, Sinaloa. Formo parte de la campaña Viralicemos la Lectura y como parte de la Estrategia Nacional te ayudaré con tus tareas. En este video veremos cómo realizar una infografía en inglés, que forma parte de la unidad 7, parte 1, del libro de inglés de segundo de secundaria. Today's assignment is to make an infographic. We are going to watch it here in this page in the instruction how to use a can opener. An infographic is used usually when you have to make some instructions. You put pictures and small text to describe what you are going to do. First, you are going to start by putting the materials you are going to need, like these ones over here. These are the marsilias that are going to be needed. In the next part, you are going to describe these steps. Number one, two, three, and you go along to number eight. Number of steps depends on what you are going to explain and how many steps you are going to be needing. I also want you to please notice that you are going to use different verbs in every instruction. They already highlighted it with color yellow in each instruction to see what is needed in each of them. Over here we have some important element an infographic must have. It says over here, a small text and instructions, pictures that represent the instructions, line from the pictures to the names to the parts of the machines or the voice, pictures with those up to see the details, and the last one, arrows or numbers to indicate the order of steps. Your tip is to make sure that you can find the necessary information to cover all the aspects of your checklist from exercise number two, the ones we already checked in color blue. If you don't have access to information, you can think of a machine or device you know very well, or you can use a reader. For example, it says here, on page 88 to 98 of your reader, you can find information about how to operate a vending machine. Here is the example of the infographic of how to use a vending machine. It says, number one, to prepare for use. Number two, to insert money and select a product. Number three, to describe the process inside the machine, and finally number four, to inform about safety or solve problem. Now that we saw the steps of an infographic to use a vending machine, they are asking us to make an infographic by yourself. We are going to do an example of how to make ginger cookies. Here is the example of how to make gingerbread cookies. Number one are the ingredients. It has the names and how many you need of each of them. Number two, start with instructions. It tells you how to heat the oven and where to put it. In number three, the only words are mix until crumble because you can see in the pictures what are you going to do. Number four, they are going to tell you what to add with the names and the instruction is mix until dough is filled. In number five, they are telling you to put the dough on the plate and to put it along and then to make sure your tray is well greased. And finally, number six, to put the cookies in the oven, wait the time correctly, and your cookies are done. Gracias por la atención a nuestros videos. Esperemos que te sean de gran ayuda. Si tienes alguna pregunta, no dudes en buscarnos. Gobierno de México.